Oh, 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 on our way out to the Flagler Pier, it's a beautiful day, a few thunderstorms around, but that's all good. The water's semi-smooth, it's not too rough, surfers are out there enjoying themselves, and we're going to get ready to pitch. So the way my wife puts on the, the shrimp on the hook, is different than the way I do it. I usually hook it through the head and to make sure it's still alive or through the tail. But the way she does it, she tends to get a lot more hits this way. You got it? Yeah. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Got a net? Picture of it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Awesome. That's a big mouse. She got a flounder. Oh, nice. First, I didn't. We didn't even see it. I left the drag was loose. Uh, I left it that purposely for, that way, and I uh, got a flounder. Nice. I don't know if I'll fillet the bad boy here. I'm gonna pull the hook out. We're gonna put him in the the, uh, the cooler for now. Play him later. All right, let's throw them in here. There we go. Not happy about that? Well, what can you do? And look there, somebody out there hooked a sea turtle. And they'll have to cut their line and let it go and uh, re-rig their line. Oh. I don't know where the wood chip is though. It's stuck. I can't get it. I'm gonna get my line back, so I'm gonna cut it right there. And then I have to restring it. It happens. I'm trying to get my sabiki ready, but it's kind of tangled a little bit. Oh, and I lost my shrimp. Man. There we go. I got one little piece of the tail I'll put on here. And let me put this on. And then I'll throw it in. There we go. Now I'm going to throw this little speaky out here. Oh, man. This pole. There we go. This pole is kind of hokey. I don't like it, but it's all we have for now until we get the other one fixed. And you can see we put our 360 down here in the water. What's interesting though is these spade fish are very curious about everything. You can see this one just keeps coming back and actually bumping into the glass um, against the camera. <laughs> you can see they're very interested. Got a little space fish here. Little teeny guy. Gotta let it go though. It's not what I wanted for bait fish, but eh. It is what it is. Pull him out. Oh, it's a catfish. All right. Why you, cat? Why well, couldn't it be something else? I gotta get the cat back in. And he's wrapped around my line. Of course. Oh, there we go. There you go. You want him? <laughs> Nobody wants poor catfish. Yeah, that's true. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Nice. Thank you so much. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Look. 
Nice. Well, we don't know how to spade fish taste, but my wife's interested, so we're gonna take it home, lay it, and see what they taste like. As you can see down here, there's a lot of uh, fish down here. Um, they're actually real small, and you can't throw your net off of here, so you can't catch them. But there, there's hundreds of thousands of them down here, and uh, um, they're just all over the place. And you can see here, I'm using um, finger mullet for bait. Look, we got a little small shark here. He's a genie guy. Gonna throw him back. Aw, oh, don't tell me it got wrapped. Yes. Stuck again. Man. Oh, I gotta fix it again. Again! Oh, it's coming. You guys have a good day. Thank you, Ted. Here, take me. I gotta grab this. So we're moving into a sheltered place while the storm comes, but you can see all the bait fish down there. All the little fish. I mean, they're all over. Surfers don't care. They're just waiting for the storm to wait it out. All right, now that the rain has slowed down, or almost stopped, uh, we're going to go back out and go fishing. There's only a couple people that stayed out there fishing during this storm. Oh. Is that you too, Katie? I don't know. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, he's going around me. I you get going around here, side. I gotta you go around here. Huh? Oh, you can see it ran that. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I got it. You can see it ran that pile and cut it right off. Sorry. Mm. I don't know. It's out there. It's out there. Is he still pulling? Oh yeah, you got something big on there. Probably a shark. I don't know. So far out. Do you need a net? I will need a net. Yeah. Oh, I think it's a, it's a ray. I think. Not yet? Not yet. He's tearing me up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's stingray. It's a, that's a big one, too. I'm gonna need a new. Oh my god, it's stingray. T hey, you're gonna have to let it down. Here. That's a good size one, though. Yeah. Oh, Here. Damn. You wanna grab the pole and I'm gonna do that? No, I can try. You gotta get it underneath. You gotta get yeah. He's gotta bring it to you. Okay, you got him. Oh, okay. Oh, he's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. He's a big guy. <clears throat> Man. And we will keep. Some. Yeah, we're gonna keep them. There we go. Last year, I got one off of this corner, 89 pounds. Oh. Wow. It ripped my rotator cup, and I had to get a young guy help. They got him up. He had like a six-foot wingspan. Wow. And the old guys wore them because they cut the things off. They use it for shark. I said, I gotta go to the hospital. 
He wanted to live so bad. Oh, he dirty little sucker. He goes back. They were mad at me. I went to the hospital and they said, you needed surgery. I says, how long is it going to take to heal? And they told me about a year. I says, what if I don't do anything? Just put it in a sling. Will it heal? He said, yeah. I said, how long? He said, about a year. I said, yeah, that was the operation. <laughs> Six months later, it was all right. <laughs> Go away, you rats. Oh, man. But that, that's nope. got some weight to them there. We keep them and eat them. That's what I put They're secret. actually good. I got to get the tail out. So. We got them. Now we're going to flay them. So I'm going to show you. So once we cut the wings out, I'll show you that all the meat you can get off a wing. See all that meat in there? And it's actually pretty good. Stick this guy through the nose. It's a big old whitey. If I can get it. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna throw it out. I got another shark. There he is right there. Just another little one. There we go. There he goes. There he goes. There's some bait fish over there, some mackerel. We're waiting for them to come this way. Hopefully it'll be better fishing. Actually, it's not bad fishing right now. It's just I'm catching a bunch of small shark. So we'll see what happens when they get over here. But we're waiting for them. But there's schools of them like all over the place right now. So we up this old, uh, it's not an old pole, but it's a, it's a crappy pole. But we got a spade fish off the Sabiki rig, and, and at times you're gonna get, there's a lot of spade fish underneath this pier. Um, at times you'll get the, the spade fish and uh, I don't use them for bait. Oh, 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 take, take, take. Oh. This one with the let go, yeah, it's small. Uh, it's uh, stingray. Stingray. Uh-oh, he's over my other line. He's over my other line. Oh, I'm gonna... I'll pull that line in. I don't know what the other one Do you need to net? No. It's your own. Sting ray on. Ray on. Alright. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh no. I gotta get him off. Help me get this guy untangled. Careful. This is. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Cut this ray. I'm gonna let him go though. Here he goes. There he goes. Rick and my lineup for, I went this lure to try to catch some Spanish Mac. There's a school of fish down there. I don't know what they are though. They're small. Maybe, maybe the glass minnows. Good job. Take, 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 take. I got it on the side. Take it wow. Out. That don't count. <laughs> nice. Look. Nice. Oh, Ooh. did somebody buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Spanish Mac. He is a good one. Hey, yeah, you got yourself a nice mackerel. Ooh, good great eat. job. See, it's working. Yeah. Pokey fish. What kind of fish is that? Spanish mackerel. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, Spanish mackerel. You can't see. It's a mackerel. See, oh, a mackerel. see all the minnows like he's eating? Oh, and it's Whoa. got all these minnows coming out of its mouth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect cool. little fish. That's a fighter, wasn't it? He's yeah. Perfect. Finally got one. It's tiring. Man, it works on the arms. It's got a lot of hooks on this thing. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. I got snow, bait fish. My wife got me some bait fish, so I'm gonna hook it on here and see what I can get out there. Like that. So you remember the other spade fish that was curious, uh, inquisitive? Now they brought uh, more, more of the more of his or her friends to come down here. They're all inquisitive, which is really interesting to me. That's a decent sized little spade fish. Very good. Mm. Uh oh, you got him? You do. A little bit bigger. <laughs> like I said before, they, at Blackbird Pier they have a um, an area you can actually play your fish, which is nice. Um, they have that. They have a couple hoses there, so you can clean and play at the same time. Here we are flaying the flounder. Maybe we're not doing a great job, but we're kind of showing you how um, we filleted the flounder. Some of you guys may say, hey, you're doing it wrong, or maybe you should do it differently. If there's a different way, let us know. So we have many people ask us, you know, what does a stingray taste like? And so here we're going to show you how to flay the wing um, and how to get the meat out. And there's a lot of meat in the wing. And, and like the gentleman said at the pier, you can use it for shark bait. But you can also take it home, play it, and eat it. It's actually pretty good. It's not, it doesn't have a fishy taste. Um, but again, like any fish, you have to cook it right. If you overcook it, it's gonna be, you know, kind of dry and stringy, like other fish. We left the skin on the mackerel. We're gonna put a little, some, mix some spices up, put the spices on, and um, we're gonna put both of these, the ray and the mackerel on the grill. If there's a different way, if there's a certain spice that's really good on the mackerel, let us know. Uh, if there's a different way to cook this, um, we'll have other ways to cook this. But if you have a particular way that's really good, let us know that too. We got our fish now. We got our Spanish mackerel. We got it wrapped up. I'm gonna open it a little bit because I got my tray, not my trigger, but the, I got a Rectech here, a pellet grill. So I'm gonna smoke it a little bit while I'm cooking it and uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. So you can see it's all seasoned and we're gonna put it in on the grill. And this is stingray right here. So I'm gonna try a little stingray on the grill. Stingray is good without uh, even, I haven't tried it on the grill yet because I just got the grill, but stingray is good even without uh, putting it on the grill, but I'm gonna let you know how it tastes after I get it done. So it's pretty much done. Fish doesn't cook for a long time. I may have cooked this a little bit too long, at least the stingray. The other fish, they actually look pretty good. And uh, if you look down here, pretty uh, moist. So I'm gonna pull them out now. The stingray. So now it's done, now I'm gonna take it inside. We'll see how it tastes. I'm gonna grab the other ones in a, in a second here, but I can only take one at a time inside. Now that we got everything, we're gonna go inside and eat. And the grill's a little bit noisy, but uh, pellet grills are a little bit noisy. All right, now I'm gonna try the smoked stingray. With this and a little bit of tzatziki sauce, homemade. Let's see. It's perfect. This is my first time having smoked uh, stingray. It's actually really good. Um, but with homemade tzatziki sauce, it's even better. All right, I tried the stingray. Now I'm gonna try the Spanish mackerel. 
<clears throat> we did it a little differently. We left the skin on and sliced it and put some seasoning on it and put it on the grill. Um, like I said, the, uh, uh, the Rectech is kind of a smoker slash griller. So it's a pellet grill. Uh, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with pellet grills. So I cooked it a little slow to get a bit a little smoky flavor. Um, so let's see how it tastes. It's really good. It's, it's moist and it has a little bit of smoky flavor like I wanted, um, but it's just a good fish overall. Until next time, subscribe for more information, fun, and problems we have along the way. Until next time.